Yo, it's your boy Pierre Bourne. I came out here finally to Mass Appeal. Thank you for having me. I recorded Magnolia. Like, nobody really knows that shit, but I recorded that shit. So that's why the tag is in there so many times. Everybody want freestyle and shit. It's gonna give it more publicity, but it's like, hold on, like, let us push the button on it first. And then you can do some fucking freestyles. You do all you want. It's hip hop. I'm hip. I'm not mad at niggas freestyling over it. It's just like, some people just, I feel like they be trying to ride waves and shit. Like, I, just, I see how this shit go. I'm learning. So it's just like, chill out. Like, you could have waited. Being in Atlanta, you will hear Cardi. He from Atlanta. He was fucking lit way before I met his ass. So. Shit, I heard his music before. Broke Boy was hard as fuck. Like, I heard of Cardi. I just didn't know that nigga did my beat until after the fact. It was on the internet. It was like an academics post. And I was going to the studio and I seen uh, K Supreme. And K Supreme told me, hey, yo, Cardi did your beat. I gave him the beat. And I was just like, I got mad. I was like, what the fuck? Because, like, I be big on communication. And that's what that's what the problem I'm going with going through right now is niggas is running off with my beats and dropping songs with no communication. So I don't want that to happen. I want everybody to be on the same page so we could keep this shit going. So that's once I once I talked to him, he was on the same page. He's like, nigga, pull up to the studio. Cause I don't email beats. I don't like to do that. I like to be in the studio, create that vibe. So I I, I don't know what every other artist is on, but that shit is not cool. Like I don't give a fuck. Like, I'll be honest, that shit ain't cool, bro. You gotta know who you working with. L.A. Reid, if he be like, this is a hit, or any motherfucking great, if they be like, yo, who was in the room? What did they wear? What did they eat? What did they smoke? We need to recreate that. It's a formula. So if you don't know who the fuck gave you the, the secret ingredient, how you gonna recreate that shit? I've been waiting on this moment for a long time. I've been studying people's mistakes. I've been studying people's the right thing people did with their journey uh, making it into the industry. So it's like, I've taken note of that, so I don't wanna like play myself. And when shit like that happens, I gotta like do something quick because I could play myself in the long run. Yeah, that's like my brother now, like for real. Like, that shit crazy, cause we like totally opposite. Like. <laughs> That shit crazy. Like, just being around them, seeing how people like, you know, man, it's, the music industry is funny, man. Like, when people try to be cool with you and stuff. So, I'm just glad, like, the people I work with, they real genuine. I record, I used to record and engineer all his music. So, like, anything he's done, as far as Slime Ball 1, Slime Ball 2, I recorded maybe like 85%. I recorded all of Slime Ball 2. But the first one is like a couple old songs. But I've been working with him for like three years. I met him moving to Atlanta uh, at this studio, Corey Mo Studio on the east side. Um, shit, we just been kicking it since the first day, really. When, when I first recorded him, I thought he sounded like Gucci Man. And I'm thinking in the future, like that's how I think. I'll be 10 steps ahead. I'll be like, oh, we the new Zayn Wap. The first day. He didn't even rap on my beat the first day. He didn't even know I made beats the first day. I wasn't on it. I was just trying to engineer that day. I was an engineer getting paid for that session. How will I make it into the music industry? Because I can't do this shit telling everybody I rap. Nobody wants to hear that shit. But if I be like, I engineer, you know how many doors get open so fast? Oh, you engineer? Oh, hell yeah, get your ass inside. Let's drop some shit. That fast, even if I don't even know how to do that shit. Because I did that before. Like when I was in school for engineering, like, they would tell you, wait till you're done, do internships. Fuck that. When I'm out of class, yo, I engineer, I go to this school for engineering, I'm about to be done in a couple months, give me a job. That's how I was getting into all these studios and meeting people. I just saw, like, my friend, my uncle's friends were just rapping. Like, they was just, I don't know, I guess that's, that's what started it. Because they was, it was how they were rhyming, though. And like the reaction, everybody was just, that shit was crazy. I was, I started just mumbling stuff, just making up words like babble, gabble, gabble. And my uncle was just like, hey, nigga, what are you doing? Like, you need to write this down 
make some actual words. And he showed me how to write it, like structures, like bar for bar, metaphors, all that shit. The first Fruity Loops I, I used was Fruity Loops 4. I don't know how old I was, but I know it was Fruity Loops 4. Um, I thought it was a video game, like the grid, like you just click on it and shit. And uh, I, before then, I used to record myself on the computer, so I knew how to use the sound recorder shit. So I, I really just, because I didn't know how to work the program, so I just did what I knew. So I just copied the files from the sound recorder and put it into that grid, and I would make beats with my voice. And then my uncle came home one day, he was just like, the fuck? Like, I ain't even think about doing that shit yet. He dead ass gave me his computer when I was like 10, 11. I came back home, downside with a computer, a Dell computer. My mom was like, what the fuck? Like, why, why does he deserve a computer? Like, what the fuck? What is he? Uh, now look, moving to Atlanta was the smartest thing for me to do. But I didn't never give up. Like, this is something I always wanted to do since I was a kid. So I think it was just proving it to everybody else. Like, I knew I could do it. I was just like, dog, fuck college. <laughs> fuck what my parents been trying to instill in my head. Because it, that ain't what I want to be. So, and they respect that now because Everybody saying, yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? I'm supposed to uh, get in the studio with Sonny and work on our project. Me and 21 Savage, we're going to do a tape. Yeah. We talked about that maybe like last week. That shit going to fuck him up. But a tape with, or a project with all my beats, Savage rapping on it. Got some stuff with Uzi. Me and Metro got some shit with Uzi. Um, Cardi's stuff, my stuff, T Lot 4, uh, 808 Mafia album, just all 808 Mafia beats, and I'm gonna be rapping on it. Um, the weekend, me and the weekend got some stuff going on. Me and Metro, we're gonna get back in immediately after the tour for Nudie Land, for Young Nudie's tape. And shit, our birthday is coming up too, so I'm trying to figure out what the fuck going on with this party. That's gonna be lit. Pierre Metro birthday bash. Oh shit! That shit sounds crazy.